Elon Musk's Starship has had a fiery test campaign with multiple prototypes blowing up before its first successful landing in May this year. If you don't push the envelope, you cannot achieve the goal of a fully and rapidly reusable rocket. But former NASA boss Charlie Bolden is still um, not convinced. If Neil Armstrong were alive today to talk to them, he would probably say, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Musk is developing the 50-meter-high Starship in Boca Chica, Texas. He's building the biggest rocket in human history. Just over there is Starship 20 that's going to go into orbit, pushed there by this giant booster, number four. This year, NASA awarded Musk a nearly $4 billion contract for his Starship to be the lunar lander, taking astronauts to the moon for the first time since 1972. I think, actually, this will be a perfect example of new space and old space meeting together into a great new mission. Let me show you something. But Amazon founder Jeff Bezos wanted NASA to fund his moon lander. We've been working on this lander for three years. In August, Bezos mounted a legal challenge, arguing that Musk's Starship was too big and too risky. The lunar surface is pockmarked beyond belief. Former astronaut Charlie Bolden was Obama's pick to run NASA. He also has concerns about the safety of Starship. For me, as a huge fan of SpaceX, but a, but a huge skeptic about Starship is the fact that it's so big, it's so massive. Even Elon Musk says it's a massive technical challenge. I think we could probably land with the main engine and not dig a, dig a grave and die in it, but we would have to prove that. But Musk has already revolutionized spaceflight by creating the first operational reusable rockets. <laughs> now NASA is betting on him doing it again. Sarah Ferguson, ABC News, Starbase.